Hello everyone, Michael here, and today we're going to be re-enabling the screensaver on Ubuntu. Okay, so by re-enabling, I actually meant uh, removing a certain software and installing a screensaver software. Long story short, uh, Genome that screensaver is in there, but it's pretty much useless. In fact, it's kind of technically removed. If you guys go to Eugene's desktop background or appearance and system settings, you may have noticed that well, there's no selections for screen server saver. Well, we're gonna have to go ahead and remove the Genome screensaver, which is pretty much useless, really, and install what's called X Screen Server. And if you want to know what that is, it's self-explanatory. It's a screen server for X11. And for those who don't know what X11 is, it's pretty much the it's part of the display server or graphical server of X.org, whatever you want it to go with. And if you're wondering, yes, you guys can go ahead and install from the software center, but it's kind of involved a bit. You have to do it from the terminal. Believe me when I say this. So, let's go ahead and get started. Open up a terminal, control alt T, or search search terminal in the dash, or Unity. And let's go ahead and remove the genome screen server by using sudo app get purge genome screen server, and hit enter. Put in your password. And say yes if you asked, and it will go ahead and remove it. Now let's go ahead and install X Screen Server. To install X Screen Server, do sudo apt-get install X Screen Saver, X Screen Saver dash gl extra, and Screen Saver dash data just extra, and hit enter. Now, of course, uh, if you've been asked, say yes to install. All right, so. What we have to do is we got to make it visible, which apparently it is. But just to make sure that the thing is actually on there, let's go ahead and put in sudo g, g edit desktop, etc. And what we want to do is go ahead, copy and paste. Now, of course, this is just going to be in the uh, description below. I'm not going to explain this because this one's actually kind of long. So, put this in. Hit save. Exit out. Now, we got to go ahead and restart it so that way the thing will register that sudo app. I'm uh, sorry, the genome screen server is truly out. So, I'll uh, see you guys after the reboot. Alright, I just rebooted the computer, so let's go ahead, open up Screensaver. Now, of course, if you have things as, like, uh, this thing's not enabled or something like that, just say OK, so that way it'll be enabled. And there you have, and here you go. You have Screensavers enabled again. Now, of course, everything is set to random, and you can select, select like where you want going, going, not going, when it's under, like, the random, everything like that. Now, of course, you can go ahead, go under advanced, and that's creepy. Now, you can go ahead, mess around with the settings, settings, and get it to your liking. But I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to do it. So, with that in mind, this that's it for me. Like this video, like this video, and subscribe. Also, check out my other videos, and I'll see you guys next time. That's just way too creepy. <laughs> the Kraken has taken over my screen. <laughs>